studying the demonstration of the lung tissue, particularly the left lung. Now, what we see here is the lung tissue. In order to identify the side, we need to know the morphological features. This here on top is the apex. This is the inferior or the diaphragmatic surface. What we see here is the sharp anterior border. This here is the sharp inferior border. And this rounded is the posterior border. When we talk of surfaces, this is the medial surface which has got the hilum. This here is the inferior or the diaphragmatic surface. And here we have the lateral or the coastal surface. So, when you orient the lung tissue so that the apex is pointed superiorly, diaphragmatic surface is inferior, sharp anterior border faces anteriorly, the rounded posterior border faces posteriorly, coastal surface faces laterally and the hilum and the mediastinal surface are facing medially. That is what helps us to identify that this lung belongs to the left side. Common mistake done by students is they look at the number of lobes and fissure saying that since only one fissure is there and two lobes so it is the left lung but that is not what is to be done. You look at all these six things superior, inferior, anterior, posterior, medial and lateral and identify the side. So this is the left lung. Now as a confirmatory thing we can look into the single fissure which is there the oblique fissure and the two lobes the superior lobe and the inferior lobe and also we observe the anterior sharp border which runs straight first and then curves giving rise to the cardiac notch and then ends down in the tongue like process called as the lingula. So these are confirmatory points. Then now we go to study the relations of the left lung. The apex of the lung is going to be related to the root of the neck. So it will be covered by the apical pleura and structures in the root of the neck. The inferior or the diaphragmatic surface is going to be related to the left dome of diaphragm which separates it from the stomach and the spleen. Then we move on to the medial surface which is divided into a posterior part which is paravertebral in position and is going to be related to the bodies of the thoracic vertebra, the intervertebral discs and the ligaments and prevertebral muscles and fascia related to them. Whereas the anterior part is the mediastinal part which is going to be related to the mediastinal structures. Now here most striking is this cardiac impression which is going to be related to the left side of the heart or to the arterial part of the heart. So this impression majorly formed by the left ventricle and a small part nearer to the anterior border is going to be related to the right ventricle. Whereas above the left ventricle, we will be having the impression for the ascending iota, the arch of iota just above the hilum and the descending thoracic iota behind the hilum. Related just above and below would be the impression of the esophagus and also related here are two nerves, the left phrenic nerve in front of the hilum and the left vagus nerve related to the esophagus behind the hilum. These are the important relations seen on the mediastinal surface. The coastal surface is going to be related to the ribs with the intercostal spaces and their contents. These were the important relations of the left lung. Now let us see the structures present at the hilum of the left lung. When we trace them from superior to inferior, these are three structures A, B, V, the pulmonary artery, the bronchus and the inferior pulmonary vein. You identify the bronchus by feeling the wall of the structure which tells you that the wall is thicker 
and is firm to feel because of the presence of the hyaline cartilage in the wall of the bronchus plus if you try to squeeze the organ we can see bubbles coming out through the bronchi because of the air which is trapped inside the lung tissue so three structures from superior to inferior the pulmonary artery the bronchus and the inferior pulmonary vein whereas from anterior to posterior three structures again and that is the vein the artery and the bronchus so that's the superior pulmonary vein the pulmonary artery and the pulmonary bronchus those are the structures seen at the hilum of the left lung finally we will see the bronchopulmonary segments of the left lung this is the superior lobe so here the bronchopulmonary segments would be apical anterior posterior superior lingular and inferior lingular whereas in the inferior lobe they will be apical or also known as superior the anterior basal the posterior basal lateral basal and the medial basal so these are the 5 and 5 10 bronchopulmonary segments of the left lung so basically for the left lung for your practical exams you should know the morphological features apex base three borders and the three surfaces and how you identify the side how you hold it in the normal anatomical position and then you should know the relations of the three surfaces and the apex the structures at the hilum related from superior to inferior and anterior to posterior and you should be able to identify the bronchopulmonary segments in the two lobes of the left lung thank you